I could give you free things. Okay. <laughs> give me three things. I miss supermarkets, I miss lakes, and I miss mountains. It's just very odd to me that supermarkets are so far away. I, I used to like have a supermarket like literally five minutes walking distance from my home. So I never bought food for more than a day. Mm -hmm. Buying food for like two weeks <laughs> is a new experience for me. And also just like in Switzerland, wherever you are, you're somewhat close to either a lake, a river, and for sure a mountain, or at least a hill. So being in Michigan, which is fairly flat, at least around Ann Arbor, mm -hmm. just the lack of reference points <laughs> is kind of weird to me. Small thing. Maybe I think it will be the weather. I think this is too cold for me. And um, the part I live in China is not the warmest part, but it's not too cold. It's like it will very uh, at least above zero degrees. But here it's like minus 20 degrees. It's really too cold for me. And I don't think maybe I'll try. I don't think I can survive the winter. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> I definitely try. <laughs> Like, you'll miss your family more when you are sick. Because like, when when, uh, if you are sick at home, your parents, your family will take care of you. But when you are here, you're kind of on your own. What I miss the most is like having a supermarket close by. <laughs> it really <laughs> frustrates me. <laughs> Not being, I don't know, I'm so bad at planning ahead. And, <laughs> <laughs> and you've got to rely on your annoying neighbor to, to take you. <laughs> Food, yeah, food. yeah. Although here we have like a lot of nice places to go. I mean, I I miss my my home food. That's that's like really hard. Like anything in particular that you're like, damn, I wish I had that right now. Uh, oh yeah, like well, from from my country Honduras, I th it's, I think it's like uh, uh, something we have a really nice food that's called baleadas, and I miss that. And from Mexico, I meet like really nice tacos that. I mean, it's not the same that the ones you can find here. No, <laughs> I mean, if there was one thing, it was it's always going to be food. Uh, um, Anything in particular, like um, <laughs> just like just just <laughs> everything, like just like home food, like cooked by my mom is is something very precious, and I think I miss it a lot when I'm here. In fact, I do get some uh, tiny tidbits when I. Uh, you know, just come back from home every December. So that's that's always nice. Those last for like two, three months and <laughs> that's always fun. Um, Americans have such sweet tooth. Is that how you say it? Like I, I guess so, yeah, like eating candy. Everything here is so much sweeter than like desserts in China and Singapore. The first time when I bought a, bought a bubble tea, yeah. I was shocked. <laughs> like <laughs> it was just sugar. <laughs> I could just taste the sugar there. Yeah, everything loves sweet thing. Everyone loves sweet stuff yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's almost the same. It's it's almost the same. The only it's not it's not a weird thing. It's more like certain phrases are different. Certain things are just said slightly like differently. Like Z or Z. It's not a big thing. Oh. But for the most part, I still feel like I'm in Canada. Um, so it's not a huge like culture shock or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, say, say you're in an airport and I had my water bottle and it had some liquid in it and I wanted to like drain off the liquid and take it through and they told me that the rules tell, tell, tell me that you have to go back all, back all the way to the security line at the back and then come back with the empty bottle and I was like, I mean, doesn't, doesn't it just make sense to empty it here and take it like with me? And then they're like, I mean, rules are rules, right? And like, <laughs> you, you're just not as thrifty as I want you to be. <laughs> like you're Actually, I agree with what Shelly says. It's like, everything is sweet here. I bought my cookie the first day I came here. And I only eat one of them, and I can't eat anymore. It's too sweet. It's like, <laughs> it's not a cookie, it's a sugar. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I would tell them that don't afraid that if you do not get admitted to the famous universities, 
it's okay if you go to some universities that does not have very good reputation. As long as there are professors that you are interested in, you can go there and study. And one more thing, don't give up. Really don't give up because I know it's very easy to give up because there are too many opportunities in industry or any other fields. Like the salary is better, right? And the position is easy to get, right? But if you really love math, you should, <laughs> I mean, you should <laughs> try, try hard to insist not give up. I love it. That's my advice. I guess, like, don't be afraid to try because math in high school and math in college are totally different. And don't feel bad if other people know more stuff than you because some people come from high schools where they teach analysis and algebra. But it's not that common in Singapore or China, I believe. So it doesn't matter if they know more stuff at this moment. You just need, if you are really interested in math, just keep learning. And yeah, it, yeah you don't have to be a genius to study math. Um, I would say definitely do it if you're interested in, well, first of all, if you're interested in leaving the country to see different departments, um, don't let the application procedure scare you because um, here at least they require you to do the GRE general, the subject, but in Canada, at least for a Canadian citizen, it's just simply an application. Um, so that was one thing that I debated, but I realized that it would be worth it and it has been worth it for me. Um, so that's one thing, uh, don't let the application process scare you. Um, if you really want it, you definitely should do it. I thought Chanilla's answer was really good. Well, say, I say can't. It. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> um, Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, say, yeah. Say whatever you feel is true. I mean. Yeah. I mean, the administrative stuff and application process are very painful and <laughs> a <laughs> lot <laughs> to deal with. But yeah, I think it's definitely a nice environment here. And yeah, I think they have to know that they have like a good background that our institutions are good and we can't like uh, come here and do well so it's just uh, don't be afraid and do all the paperwork <laughs> that's needed to do it on. yeah applying for university also involves like a lot of paperwork and that got me nervous but i would say like just ignore that it's not as serious as you may think it is just because there are different standards so don't get scared by the paperwork would be my my advice. I would tell them to aim high. I think that's one thing um, that a lot of people sort of don't do in these days. Like if you want to, like when, when, it's, when you consider graduate education in the United States as a privilege, you, you tend to not aim like beyond your abilities and try to get up there. So you sort of feel like it's okay to compromise just because you're going outside your country, right? And um, like, keep your keep your focus um, I into whatever you, you you have to do, and um, and aim high, and things good things will come your way. Yeah. Crap. How's it feel to be in the spotlight, huh? Horrible. Yeah. <laughs>